If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, new 1%. It's Satoshi Booman coming at you with another video. Guys, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a VeChain or a Cardano video. We get these videos every single day. Hit that subscribe button for me. I got my hot tea and honey lot and loaded ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. We're talking about VeChain here and the first story of the day. Sunny Lou clarifies misconception about Proof of Authority 2.0 launch timeline. Just quickly down here. There was a lot of people saying that, you know, the launch wasn't happening or that it was happening by the end of the month. That is not true. Okay, phase one should be out by the end of the month. And then um, they're going to open up the door for us to vote on the upgrade. And then the upgrade will, um, will occur. So... Sunny Lou says, sorry, it was pretty late and I was tired. I stand corrected here. Our core dev team has been developing the first phase and is going very well. We expect the work to be completed by the end of this month and a network wide all stakeholder vote on the upgrade will happen afterwards. That does not mean that it's coming out by the end of the month. I think it's going to be coming out by the end of the year, so to speak. So clearing up any misconceptions on the AMA um, so we should be able to vote either by the end of this month or next month <clears throat> and then the uh, upgrade will be completed if passed I don't think that there would be any reason why the upgrade wouldn't be passed but just the way it is moving on that's some cool news out of BYD. Okay, so VeChain and BYD have partnered together for a carbon trading app. We're going to take a look at this. But this is very, very interesting. So the first story that broke is that all BYD cars will be using Blade battery technology, which BYD in 2020 tagged VeChain in. Okay, remember this? post here was a long time ago huge breakthrough in battery technology that will redefine safety standards for the entire industry they said that they are going to be putting all of the blade battery packs in its electric vehicles and in this tweet <clears throat> they tweeted at v chain now Let's take a look at some of the use cases that BYD has for VeChain. Okay, so shout out to, uh, well, they deleted that. I think, I think that's his name deleted or he probably deleted it, but um, my man's did a full breakdown of all the partnerships on Reddit. This is amazing. And I'm pretty pissed off at VeChain and Reddit before we get into this, I gotta say, bro, every time I post anything on VeChain Reddit, they automatically delete it. Like, automatically. And I'm like, what the heck? There's some garbage that's posted on VeChain Reddit all the time that gets accepted by moderators. Why are the moderators hating on Boomin? Hmm? Why are the VeChain moderators on the VeChain Reddit hating on Satoshi Boomin? I don't understand. Is because I'm super mega bullish? Do they think I'm a moon boy or something? I'm the least moon boyish of all the moon boys out there. Anyway, I got a bone to pick with the VCHA Reddit, but I'll use it still. I'm a little salty. But, so the first uh, thing that BYD tweeted, carbon credits, blockchain passes, proof of concept, ready for mass production. Partnership BYD, DMVGL, and VeChain official. First, enterprise level application moving data from millions of cars, buses, and trains to the public blockchain. This is what I think is what's going to occur with the partnership. There's no real confirmation of what's happening during the AMA. 
Sonny Lou said he was under a lot of NDAs, so he couldn't really talk about it. <clears throat> but during the Worldwide Developer Conference in 2018, Sonny Lou announced that they are working together with BYD to integrate blockchain power solutions into BYD products. Again, tracking your trace say data, carbon emissions, um, driving habits, things like this. They already have these solutions implemented in cars today. I know you could get like a little sensor put in your car from Progressive that, you know, if you drive safely and you have a um, dash cam and you have like these certain, you don't brake too hard, stuff like that, you can get discounts on your insurance rate and they take all that data from your car and they send it to the insurance companies in order to track and trace these things um pretty pretty interesting so that's where i think vj is coming in um a little bit about byd founded in 1995 porn year and battery technology byd's mission is to change the world by creating a complete clean energy ecosystem that reduces the world's reliance on petroleum. So, also with the push of carbon neutrality in China, BYD could be in position, guys, to be the world's largest car manufacturer of all time. <clears throat> so, then it goes on down to say the carbon banking solution. Remember, we talked about um, people earning credits for driving electric vehicles. They're going to start incentivizing electric vehicle driving, guys. Um, by 2025, Kathy Wood, CEO of ARC Invest, says that these vehicles are going to be a lot cheaper to make and a lot more efficient than current carbon, uh, current fuel injecting motors. So this is definitely something we need to take a look at. Electric vehicles are becoming a thing of the future. And I thought it was really, really cool that the new e-platform 3.0 and the new concept of the car is called Ocean X. Of course it's called Ocean X, guys, because they're working with V-Chain, duh. The new platform enables ranges exceeding 620 miles through the first through the world's first eight and one electric powertrain it's gonna have a byd battery in it i assume that it will have carbon tracking in it as well um and other tracking data too now <clears throat> another thing i like about these electric vehicles is that the mileage that you can get per charge is ex is increasing i know with internal combustion engines typically uh, you could only get about 400, maybe 500 miles per tank, depending on how big your tank is. But now, these uh, some of these electric vehicles, some of the higher end ones, could go thousands of miles per charge. That is, that's going to be the future right there, guys. So we're breaking it down. Hopefully, we can get a major announcement. Um, blade battery technology. We got the carbon tracing solution, the carbon banking solution, We've got the carbon credit solution with BYD. So there's a lot of good stuff coming down the pipeline. I'll make sure to keep you guys informed. Thank you, Isaac Reich. Let's take a look at the BYD DFEGL of each carbon app. I already did a sound check, so we don't gotta do that again. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry about the sound. The sound issues on my uh, videos like randomly like it'll be fine for like three or four days in a row and then randomly all of a sudden my settings on my capture software will change and like my microphone will be off the sound on the computer would be completely off and I'm like what the heck and I don't realize it until the end of the video until you guys yell at me <laughs> So I've been doing checks beforehand just in case it randomly switches, but hey, I could be just doing something wrong. Who knows? Anyway, let's take a look at this. Hope you guys can hear it.
。那我们跟比亚迪合作，有一个碳积分的一个应用，获取到这个车联网的行车数据，然后行车的数据里面包含，呃，里程、油耗、电耗啊、呃、等数据。然后我们通过这个呃碳专家提供的一个减排公式，然后我们把这个公式。啊，形成了一个智能合约部署在我们区块链上，然后我们根据这个减排当量核发相应的这个碳积分给这个车主用户。啊，在这个比亚迪的新能源车上，车载的这个 App， 它主要是能够去通过 d l i n k 上开放的 API 获取行车的车联网数据。啊，这个是我们呃碳积分应用平台上比亚迪 d l i n k 上的一个碳分应用。这样的话，我们打开这个碳分应用。会跳出来一个登录界面，这个登录界面呢，我们会通过二维码扫描跟手机端 app 绑定的关系实现一个登录，然后用户就可以通过手机端的 app， 然后在这个生态平台上的别的企业进行消费、花费碳积分进行这个消费活动了。So again, it collects the driving data, it collects, you know, the carbon emissions data in those. Credits those emissions that you are not burning get trans get converted into carbon credits, which you can use to purchase other things. Also, they want to collect your driving data because they're China. So, <laughs> guys, I would highly recommend you guys watch the video on the、uh, social credit system in China. Holy crap, that is very oppressive. They need to change that stuff. Um, hopefully that doesn't get implemented in America. I don't think it will, but yeah, man, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in China. Anyway,、um, the point is we're moving on. We've got some Jira news here, guys. Their arbitration platform is close to being released. The Jira arbitration platform pushed the limits of what arbitration could do for your business. Join the waitlist now. Check out. How our innovative platform compares to standard legal processes and familiar providers. So we can see here, the filing fee for the Jira platform is smaller,、uh, powered by a digital algorithm, comprehensive and streamlined, fast as three months in resolution dispute time, whereas other arbitrators could be six to eighteen months. So. If you guys don't know what Jira is, real quick, they are a digital conflict resolution platform.、Um, again, using technology and digital technology to resolve conflicts, resolve arbitration, resolve you know court, pretty much. So、um, you only need one arbitrator. Uh, you could get your stuff done in easily as 120 days, and the procedure is 100% paperless. So this is coming soon, launching fall 2021. I will let you know when this is released. All right, guys, we got 925 days to the next Bitcoin block having. Taking a look at the markets here, things don't look so bad. Yeah, Bitcoin's still down to forty six, forty six k, but I still do think we're gonna shoot back up, guys. This dip was just too violent to be a natural correction.、Uh, this seems like whale manipulation one on one. So I'm expecting us to shoot back up here any minute now. Algo is literally doing the dash. Holy cow! I told y'all I was buying some Algo. Did you pick up some Algo on the low when it was like seventy cents? Hmm. Did you do it? Did you? Probably not. It's alright though. Don't FOMO into it now. Tron is up twenty percent. What the heck is going on with Tron? I wish you could buy Tron on Coinbase, but that's never gonna happen. Elrond literally continuing to do the literal dash. Your boy could have been out of wage slavery right now if I would have just hodled. But that's what you get. That's what you get when you try to trade and be cute. I'm telling you guys, just hodl. We're literally stacking V chain and chilling. 
That's the quickest, easiest way. Well, not the quickest way to get rich in crypto. The quickest way to get rich in, in crypto is to trade shit coins <laughs> and shady DeFi. That's the quickest way to get rich, but not the most safest way. <laughs> you could lose all your money doing that on rug pulls. But the safest way to get rich in crypto is to find a coin that's you know valuable that has a good team behind it they're continuing to develop it and you just dollar cost average and hold you just hodl okay matter of fact pick you about two three coins that you care about and you put twenty dollars a week in or however much you can afford every single week and you hodl guys it's not glamorous no i don't have a buy bit link no, I'm not going to teach you how to super duper swing trade flip titty coin and come rock it so that you can, you know, flip that into, I don't know, shit coin plus and get a 100x gain. I'm not going to tell you how to do that, but just buy and hodl and you'll be A-OK. -okay. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. Don't let your memes be dreams. I will talk to you tomorrow with the V-Chain and Cardano updates. Love you guys. Bye.